time, and it spills over tonight at the CompuBox Academy. I'm Todd Grisham, and watching this live with me is Johnny Nelson. I feel like a fraud. How have I got these ringside seats? It's time now for our tale of the tape. Robin Reed weighing in at 159 pounds with a... Robin Grim Reaper Reed, a former two-time super middleweight world champion and a bronze medalist from the 1992 Summer Olympics. Roy Jones Jr. He won world titles at four different weight classes, including the heavyweight championship of the world. I'm so excited for this fight. There is no nonsense. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner from Runcorn, England. Here is a super middleweight champion of the world. Introducing the Reaper Man, Robin Lee. Fighting out of the blue corner from Pensacola, Florida. Here is a middleweight a super middleweight, a light heavyweight, and a heavyweight champion of the world, Roy Jones Jr. What a pleasure it is to be here in this environment. What a venue for this showdown. Todd, it's a pleasure and an honor to be here at this venue. It's going to be something special. And what I say you must obey. Good luck. These two fighters promised us an offensive show. Let's see if they deliver. And this with that jab. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. That counter shot lands. There was so much hype surrounding this match, I wonder if it can actually live up to the hype. You have some fighters that are big show, big arena fighters, and they bask in this, they love this, they are born for this. You have other fighters where this would be like the rabbit in the headlights. That left shot lands. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Totally impressed. You know what? You got the skill. You got... Oh, my goodness. I admire these guys. We'll keep an eye on this slugger. As you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. Oh, this is a slugger right here in front of us. You know, these kind of fighters, they want to get hit in the face because it jeez them on. They want to stand there and fight in the trenches. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. All three judges here are going to give that round to you-know-who. Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so, so easy. Great work. Yes, I like that round. Good, I feel good? Good, man. And there's the bell to start round two. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Perfect counter shot. Neither man really defending themselves. Swing and a miss. You can't score with that uppercut. Beautiful counter shot.
counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. Reaction is second to one. It's the blink of an eye, and they're waiting for any little trick you do. So you've got to fight a counter punch is smart. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dares do anything out of turn. And he just misses with that jab. He blocks the uppercut. from both men. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. From this moment forward, he cannot afford to lose another round. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're going to get a kitchen sink. He's gone. I'm telling you, he's gone. Jump over there. And every time you see him, take a big, deep breath. Bang him, body and head. Be smart. Change your angle. Go out there and finish him. He's ready. Let's get it started in round three. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. These middleweight type of fights, Johnny, you're obviously not going to see the speed you see in some of the, the lighter divisions or the power you see in some of the heavier divisions, but you sort of get the best of both worlds. Middleweight always gives us a class. If you've got two class middleweight fighters, you are in for action. I'm quite sure right now, if you know your boxing, there's a certain fighter, Mr. Mr. I would just say marvelous, but some fighters were unbelievable middleweight. Two are the perfect dance partners. And he misses with that jab. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Nice job landing that left counter punch. He threw the hook, didn't land. Counter punch. Nice defense on that left. And a counter left. He misses with that jab. And counter punching. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. There's the bell for round four. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. The old adage is, no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed.
When you've got a fast fighter, they will cut you to ribbons, and they know it's a matter of time before either you get desperate or the referee jumps in and saves you. This is a natural gift. You don't want to go tit for tat in there in this fight. He just missed with that left jab. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? What a world championship fight we're seeing, ladies and gentlemen. You cannot ever, ever compare anything to this. These guys really mean it. These guys must hate each other the way they're fighting. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of the punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we're going to find out. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Nice counter shot. Well, he is glad to have heard that bell. I've been in fights like that. On to the fifth we go. After that last round, something has got to change. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to block it. They've got to block it. They've got to come up now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab, rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then, put the pressure on. Catch and shoot. And he fails to score with that left hook. Nice counter punch. And he blocks the left up with cut. that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. And this is that jab. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. Punch scores. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that round. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. Here we go in the sixth round. That round was complete domination. Let's see if we can shake things up here in this round. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Both men step back for just a moment. Exchange punches. Oh, 
Good counter punching from both these fighters. That jab doesn't find a home. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Back and forth they go. Neither fighter willing to back down. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? It's the one who draws first blood toll. That's what he's got to look at. If you hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it. And you've got to be confident. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you're going to be thinking. You've just got to be smarter than them. You've got to be like a little fag in a pickpocket. Lands with the right counter. Not a lot of defense here at all. They are not going to let this one go to the judges. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Good counter left hand there. What would you tell this guy if he's got to do something different? Wow, it's like two different leagues. Time winding down as we get set for another round. And there's the bell for round seven. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's gonna come out and put the pressure on. He's gonna throw the kitchen sink at you. You gotta be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off, be smart, because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone, he knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. I've seen some fighters with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer, they are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punchers with a chin like a crisp. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the danger spot. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Looks like this fighter did not work on defense as training camp. Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. There's a scoring blow. Neither man really defending themselves. No stamina, no injury, but still throwing punches. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as a fighter. And the corner has got to put a firecracker on that fighter. Get out there and get the job done. Come on. Look across at him. Look at him now. Round eight. And we're off again. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one.
So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fire, we fight. You either give it them back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play play, play too. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. Offense all the time. Nice counter shot with the right hand. Beautiful counter punch. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget you can bang too. Left counterpunch will score. Got out of the way of that right hook. Nice exchange here from both men. Nice, very close round with 10 seconds to go. Well, he is in big trouble here. He may have been saved by the bell. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose it. And there's the bell for round nine. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get sucked in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him, tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. Left counter scores. Fighters certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will when they hit be a lot harder. That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. That's another scoring shot. Changes from both men in this round. Swing and a miss. Nice offensive display landing that left counter. I think it's safe to say one of these fighters certainly has a significant speed advantage. You can tell who it is. Some fighters are just gifted. Gifted with such hand speed, footwork, movement. They are gifted. They are the chosen few. Counter punch. Oh, what a punch! A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. There's a counter shot. Talk about a one-sided three minutes we just saw. Dominance, without a doubt, make it look so, so easy. And here comes the 10th round. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Left counter was perfectly timed. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. 
Rollins. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. This is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get dented. Nice counter shot. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to get rocked? Perfect counter lands. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. A swing and a miss with that jab. Great counter right hand there. Good left counter that lands. And he misses with the left uppercut. job landing with that right hand counter. Good counter right hand again. Nope, that hook won't score. He blocks the jab. Good counter punching for both these ass. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Sweet music to his ears. The bell sometimes it can be the sweetest sound. And there's the bell for round 11. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. I think it's safe to say one of these fighters certainly has a significant speed advantage. You can tell who it is. This can be so frustrating. And you remember such a fast fighter, a fast fighter that can throw three full shot combinations before you even let one off. That creates frustration, and that's when it gets hard. The counter punching. Why aren't they keeping their gloves up? Rest for the weary. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Missed him with that uppercut. You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in a fight. They've got to relax. Both men step back for just a moment. There's a counter shot. Punch, counter punch. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. We know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. On to the 12. Now there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Punch, counter punch. Lucky to have avoided that uppercut. <laughs> Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Good counter punch. This fighter's sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. 
So you're getting in there with someone that's so fast, you're prepared to take a lick it. Because you've got to get some before you get in close. Good counter punching. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Nice exchange here from both men. It's everything we dreamt of. It's everything we got excited and giddy for. This is what we're here for. They've got to use their jab better in this fight. Nice counter punch. His jab just got blocked. The right hook just missed. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Perfect counter lands. There's a counter shot. Not the way either one of these fighters hoped it would go, but they can't be too upset. No one loses here. This fight's a draw. A draw? Ooh, listen to that crowd. Nobody's happy with that. Why? Because the build-up was ridiculous. The things that were said were ridiculous. But these two fighters were evenly matched, and this is why we've got a draw. One thing is for certain, we're going to do it all over again.
Here we are, getting ready for this showdown between these two fighters. Should be a good one. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. Todd, always a pleasure to work with you. Always a pleasure. It's time for our tale of the tape. It's Robin Grim Reaper Reed. He's five foot nine, weighing in at 159 pounds with a 76-inch reach. And facing him here, one of the greatest boxers.